Welcome back. To wrap up the basics of front end, the last thing I want to talk about is the presets. Up until this point, we've been talking about Bootstrap and Vue, but that may not be for everybody. So Laravel actually makes it very simple to change the entire front end scaffolding for something else. And there's even a preset which wipes out the front end altogether. So you can start from scratch if you wanted to. So to do that, I want to start on a new project. I don't want to use the existing project that we've been working on because it does delete a lot of stuff. So I'm going to make a brand new project and show you how to change the presets. So let me CD out of here and let's make a new project, Laravel new, and we'll just call it presets. Let's let that craft. All right. And everything is done. Let's CD into presets and run PHP artisan surf. Let's check it out in the browser. And there we are. So we have a fresh installation of Laravel. I'll create a new tab and I'll CD into that same directory. And let's run PHP artisan. Let's scroll up a little bit. And the command that I want to show you is preset. And it is right here. So preset swaps out the front end scaffolding for the application. As we talked about, let's run PHP artisan help preset. And there we are. So there are several presets that you can run. And here they are. You can run none, which gets rid of all the front end. You can run bootstrap, which of course will be Twitter bootstrap. Then you have view and then you have react. Let's try that react preset. Let's say PHP artisan preset react. All right. So it says that everything was installed successfully. Go ahead and run this command and you can literally copy paste that command and go ahead and run it. You know what this does. We talked about it a couple of lessons ago. So it's going to install all of the dependencies using NPM, and then it's going to run the dev, which will give us a compiled version of our assets. Let's wait for it to finish and skip ahead. And there we are. Let me open this project in PHP storm to show you what it did. Let's take a look at the package.json file. And there it is. And if we scroll down, react and react DOM. Now, of course, we are still pulling in jQuery and Bootstrap. And jQuery is because Bootstrap requires it. And we still have Axios and everything else. Let's check out the JavaScript, app.js. And so we see we are requiring this Bootstrap. And then we have a fresh React component that is inside the components directory. Let's open that up. And there it is. So this, of course, is React. So this example component can now be used just like we had for Vue. All right. Let's check out another preset. Let's say PHP artisan preset none. Let's see what happens with that one. And sure enough, everything is removed. And if we check out SAS, that is now completely empty. So this has gotten rid of everything. All right. We saw that there was a PHP artisan preset bootstrap. Let's check out that preset. It's going to require an NPM install and NPM run dev. We'll ignore that for now. I just want to show you what it's actually doing. So there we are. Now we're importing bootstrap and app.js does not have view. That's the difference, right? So this preset is just like the one that it comes with, except that it doesn't have view is just bootstrap. No real JS in here. And finally, PHP artisan preset view. So if we go back to app.js, we see here window.view and we have our example component back in. In app.scss, we still have bootstrap. So we're basically back to our starting point. Now, there are other presets out there, and I do want to show you that because I think that's important. If we go back to Chrome, let's do a quick Google search for Laravel front end presets. And the very first record here is this GitHub account for Laravel front end presets. Now, this is sort of the official front end presets. And you do have six options here. I want to show you how to get Tailwind CSS working. So let's go ahead and follow the instructions. So the very first thing we got to do is run a composer require. So let's run that now. Composer require Laravel dash front end dash presets slash Tailwind CSS. While that is going, I do want to talk a little bit about Tailwind. Tailwind is a front end utility based CSS framework, and it quickly is becoming so popular because of the ease of use. It looks great. It's easy for developers to develop on it and all in all very customizable and really user friendly. 
So today we're going to be putting that into our project, but in your own time, if you want to learn a little bit more, go ahead and research Tailwind CSS. All right, let's head back to Chrome. Let's see what we got to do next. So next we got to run the PHP Artisan Tailwind dash auth. I'll hit paste on that. Let's go ahead and run npm install and then run dev twice again. All right, that is all done. Let's head back to Chrome, hit refresh. And now we do have login here. Let's click through to that. And there we are. So you see this is much different. There's your register. And of course, I could register, but this just shows you the difference between the Laravel bootstrap version and now we have the Tailwind CSS. So going back to that GitHub account, I'm going to go back again. Like I mentioned before, there are different presets currently supported inside this. Now, if you do have a need for a custom preset for all of your projects, you can certainly make your own preset just like these folks have. And of course, this is all open source. So you can actually see exactly what the preset is doing and how it changes the files and how it has stubs and copies them. It is quite interesting. If you're ready to dive into that, I highly, highly recommend it. So last little bit I want to leave you with is Tailwind CSS. If you've been looking for a utility first CSS framework where you can quickly make very great looking applications, Tailwind CSS is fantastic. Now it is utility first. And basically what that means in very quick terms, instead of having these pre-made components like Bootstrap has, you create your own components using very small classes and you'll add them and incrementally they basically make your component. Now the difference being that if you have a bootstrap component, it kind of will always look like a bootstrap component. You'd actually have to do a lot of manipulation to make that look totally different. With Tailwind, you actually add very small classes and through those classes, you can create the same exact components, except that you have full control over every single detail of that component. So if you haven't looked at Tailwind CSS, I do want to put that in your radar as a very, very nice CSS framework. It is quickly growing. So I think we're going to start to see a lot more of it in the coming months. So with that being said, that wraps it up for this lesson and the Laravel presets. And in the next lesson, we'll move on to something else.